everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we really don't have, like, a lot of stuff going on, but we do have, like, sort of a, a vlog-style video, so I hope you guys can appreciate it anyways. But today, I figured we'd chill out a little bit and uh, try to discuss the arena a little bit with what we got. You guys saw in my Toy Hunt video the other day, we showcased the table, you know, the new arena setup that we're going for for My Damn Nation. We showcased it a little bit, but I wanted to get a little bit more into it and just kind of give you my thoughts and opinions on it. Maybe you guys have some cool ideas and stuff. I have a plan, like a design planned out, and I have a lot of things in the works right now that it's going to go into this, but I kind of want to break it down a little bit and tell you guys a little info about it and just get your thoughts on it. Maybe you guys would enjoy it, whatever the case. One thing I will say, though, is this lighting is very, is that I hate the lighting in this room. I think it's because the ceiling is super duper tall. It doesn't look bad up here, but I think when I aim it at the table, like the exposure gets, gets lost or something. Anyway, moving on forward. So we got two white lights coming down. That's not going to be a enough to light the arena. I mean, that's obvious. There's no way that would light everything up, but I will be using my signature lamps over here. You guys know the filming station over here. I'm going to get all of my lamps over here. Vindication offices. I'm wrecked. Jesus Christ. But I'll probably end up using these lamps to line right here. That way it can, you know, project into the arena like we always do, like we do in the in the old arena. However, that's not going to be enough, especially with this being so wide. If, you, if you're in the cur if you go to the old arena, let's go ahead and transfer there now. So you look at this one and uh, even when these lamps are all the way lit up, it doesn't light the back area of the arena. And this this table is actually a few inches shorter. I want to say this table is maybe six, maybe seven inches shorter width-wise. Therefore, if it doesn't light the background of this table, there's no way, especially with that balcony, there's just no way that it's going to light the back portion of the arena. So my plan for this, let's go ahead and jump back to the other arena is to have where we, uh, what, I, what I'll probably end up doing is probably line underneath here with possible LEDs. I'm not entirely sure of what I want to do here, but I think I want to go LEDs under here. Potentially other places, this is just me spitballing a little bit, letting you guys know my thoughts and opinions here. Uh, I'm thinking of going LEDs under here, maybe lining the barricade, out, or not the barricade, but the balcony right here. I, I might line that with LEDs as well. I'm not entirely, you know, sold on that fact just yet. However, I think I'm also going to have to add light whether it's up here or, or some way to connect either lamps or, or some sort of lighting mechanism that can go across the top of the board up here, possibly in this area and possibly down here as well to get a full good arena lighting effect. That way we get, you know, all the good lighting because I don't want that dark portion again, especially when you take photos like back here. You know, if you take a picture right here, all this will look great and, you know, it looks sweet. It looks dandy. But back here, it looks, it's very dark and dim and that's not, that's the last thing I want for this arena arena. I want it to be really bright everywhere. I want it to shine. I want the exposure and the saturation and all those things that come through. So, moving on forward, guys. Here is the Vindication ring because we're obviously filming Vindication, wrapping that up, shaking my effing head. Here's the ring right here. I figure the ring will have to go in this area if we're filming here. That gives me a pretty substantial amount of space here to do other spots outside the ring. I also want to give some depth to that side. So, a huge thing apart this about this arena and the reason I wanted it so wide is to give myself some depth on that side to give it a real full arena effect. I want it to have a lot of depth to it. I want it to have a lot of space. Another thing is right here, I highly doubt that you're going to, you definitely, obviously these cars won't be here. These boxes won't be here. None of this ish in this area will be here. We will probably have to take, uh, maybe, we're, we're probably going to have to put up another wall here, continue the balcony this way. You know, have the same balcony effect that we have going on up here. Continue that on around. That way we still have our enclosed arena because I still want to have the enclosed arena feel like MDT has always had. And uh, we'll have to put our our announce table and all that ish in this area as well. So we're going to have full depth effect there, there, announce tables as we always say. we got to have the great spacing. Of course, I'm not sure how far the ring is going to go down. I figured it would probably be here because you guys will notice this corner right here. That's as far as I can sit, right? So if I sit here, I need the ring to be right in front of me. So the ring would have to be anywhere between here and here. We'll figure that out when we get the other BS in here, but that's what I'm feeling like on that one. If we go into the balcony, let's take a look at the balcony here. You will notice that they are supported by the these beams right here. The reason we did that is because this 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 is a 10 inch wide board right here that we set all these figures on. Again, this mock collection of AEW and other figures will not be here. This will uh, this is just you know for right now. I didn't have anywhere else to put them, so I figured you know put them on the shelf. It looks pretty nice. It looks grand and dandy. These two beams right here support this because this is a big ass board right here for this shelf, and I wanted it to be supported. So we got the L brackets under there supporting that. We also have the background image right there, the background piece of board that will come into effect later 
later on. You guys will find out about that. I don't want to get too much into that without spoiling some stuff. We also have a Seth Rollins figure right here just for comparison about the, you know, how far it is from the ring. That's about, I want to say this is two feet off the table from the top of the balcony to the floor right here. It is two feet, which if you scale that with a figure, here's what we're looking at right there, which is a pretty good size, I'd say. That's looking pretty good right there. It looks a lot bigger on video than it does in actual in actual person. It doesn't look that big, especially if you, you know, if you, if you put somebody in the ring here, I feel like that could work out pretty good right there with the balcony, especially if you get like in these areas. You get right down here and you aim up a little bit. You can see the balcony shot and you got the wrestler and you got all the good stuff going on right there. So I think that panned out pretty good. Again, this is going to be a balcony, so we are going to have, you know, fans up there. Fan seating will be allowed at My Damn Nation. You know, we don't, we don't have any regulations right now. So we're going to have all the fans right here. Uh, I don't know how far it'll go back. Maybe four or five rows go back of the figures, and, you know, it'll add a nice arena-like effect to it. Down to the ring, we also are going to have our stage. We're, we're going to have a custom stage. You guys know MDT style. Got to have a custom stage. I think it's going to go here. I doubt that. I guess it's possible we might have this table scooted up to this table, and then put a stage, put, you know, what we want to do for the stage onto that table as we scoot it up right there, and this could be just full arena down to the ring. Again, I don't even know where the ring's going to go. It could go there. It could go in the middle. I don't know exactly what we're going to do there, but we'll figure that out. A lot of things are still work in progress. Nothing is concrete just yet. I also have these uh, foam boards right here. You guys can see it's the trifold boards. Right now, they are just blank, but I plan on sticking something to them, and then I'm going to uh, fill up the arena, which uh, I guess you can do with that what you will, but if you guys wanted a size comparison for the middle of the table with an actual WWE figure, uh, I just got this Finn Balor in a trade, so I guess we could just use him right here. The interest stage, or the, the front of the stage wouldn't start right here, but maybe we could put it like right here, um, and there. There's like a size comparison right there, so you guys can kind of see how big we're talking here. Again, the table is four feet wide eight foot long. This is literally just a piece of plywood, like a stock piece of plywood that we bought, and then we bought two of those. One for the backdrop, one for the top of the table, and it is custom built. Like We went around the whole thing. Me and my dad built this. My damn dad, me and my damn dad came in here, we built this thing, and we connected it down here to uh, my other tables that have been here for a while. So, huge project, man. Huge project going on, but, you know, we go big here. My Damn Nation is going to be the biggest pay-per-view uh, I've ever seen, at least. It's going to be highly, you know, everything. Like, not a single stone unturned. Everything, all the work going into it. A lot of uh, money going into this project as well, but I hope you guys will appreciate that. Hopefully the new Pick Fed episode is coming soon. Again, I wanted to start this process because if I didn't start this process now of building the arena, getting all the finishing touch-ups for the pay-per-view, then if I finish the other Pick Fed episodes, what happens when I get to the pay-per-view and none of this stuff's done? Then it's going to be months and months and months and months until we even get to film the thing because I'm trying to do all the things that I'm working on right now. That way, all the prep work is done, but I'm trying to think if there was something. I feel like there was something else I wanted to say. We covered the balcony with the height and the Seth Rollins and the, the figure stuff. We got the stage thing that I wanted to say. Coming down. Depth to the crowd. I actually think I'm going to do a Pick Fed Tips video tomorrow, guys. So stay, stay tuned for that if you guys are excited for a Pick Fed Tips video. I think that is going to go up tomorrow so stay tuned for that. But yeah, again, not a lot of stuff going on in this video, but I figured you guys would like to see the behind the scenes stuff of the table and what my ideas are right now versus how they will pan out once it is all full and ready and everything like that. But I hope you guys did enjoy everything. Let me know your thoughts on the My Damn Nation Arena. What do you think of everything and my ideas? Do you have any of your ideas of your own? Again, I have the whole concept in my head, which is how I brought this vision to life. If I didn't have any ideas whatsoever, I don't even know if I would have put this together. But I have a lot of ideas, bro, man. I think you guys are going to be absolutely mind-blown once you see exactly what it's going to look like and everything, how it pans out. But before we get out of here, guys, let's get into our random shout-out. So the shout-out is going to go to RJW Corporation. He says, Trey for getting Keith Lee participated in last year's Survivor Series. Keith Lee, you don't cross the line. Yes, Brad, I did forget about that. Uh, I don't know why. I think it's just because he's off TV right now, or at least the Survivor Series pay-per-view. When I think of Survivor Series Keith Lee, I think of him slamming the hell out of Roman Reigns and his soul leaving his body. So that's what comes to my brain. But huge shout-out to you for that comment, man. I'm getting the hell out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed this like vlog slash informational video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and everything. But pick fed tips probably coming tomorrow and some other things on the way. But thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys more than anything and anything you'll ever know. But uh, thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel and uh, don't cross the line or you'll get thrown from the balcony like Seth Rollins. Wait, I didn't get thrown from the balcony. Yeah. You crossed the line. I've been